Today, we look at the surface area and the volume of a sphere. This is how we can draw a sphere. The dotted portion is what cannot be seen from the front view. And this is the center of the sphere. And let R be its radius. Don't forget, every point on the sphere is equidistant from its center. How do we define the surface area of the sphere? The surface area of the sphere equals to 4 pi r squared. A sphere has just one type of surface area. Its total surface area is its curved surface area as it does not have any flat surfaces. And the volume of the sphere is given as 4 by 3 pi r cubed. At the moment, we do not need to know how we arrived at the formulae. But we will cover this topic for sure in one of our videos of higher grade mathematics. If we know the formulae for a sphere, we can easily derive the formulae for a hemisphere too. And what is a hemisphere? A hemisphere is half a sphere. Let's say it has a radius r. We have just cut the sphere horizontally and we are looking at the bottom part. The best way to understand the hemisphere is by looking at the Earth. The equator divides the Earth into two hemispheres, the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. If we split the Earth at the equator, we get two hemispheres like these. Ok, great. Let's get back to our figure now. What do you notice looking at the hemisphere? The first thing you should notice is that it has a flat surface and a curved surface. This tells us that unlike the sphere, the hemisphere will have a different curved surface area and total surface area. Let's look at the curved surface area first. Looking at both the figures, we can easily say that it will be half that of the surface area of the sphere. Dividing this by 2, we get 2 pi r squared. That's the curved surface area. What about the total surface area? The total surface area will be the sum of the area of the curved surface and the area of the circle on top. We have figured the area of the curved surface to be 2 pi r squared. The area of the circle on top will be pi r squared. Adding these two, we get 3 pi r squared. So the curved surface area is 2 pi r squared and the total surface area is 3 pi r squared. What about its volume? Again, the volume of the hemisphere will be exactly half that of the volume of the sphere. Dividing this by 2, we get 2 by 3 pi r cubed. <laughs>